heat and humidity turn Toronto into an oven, making it feel like nearly 40 degrees Celsius, leaving everyone trying to stay cool. I feel very lucky that I have AC in my apartment, but I know that's not the case for everyone. Bringing a water bottle with you is good. Wearing hats, sunscreen. Global temperature records have been breaking all summer. That heat feeding wildfires that have been destroying communities across Europe. Now, new analysis shows July is on track to be the hottest month in recorded history. We can already say with absolute certainty that it is going to be the warmest July. The UN Secretary General points to climate change and says it's terrifying. The era of global warming has ended. The era of global boiling has arrived. The air is unbreathable. The heat is unbearable. In the U.S., where 150 million people are under heat alerts, New York has declared a state of emergency. Heat kills uh, more New Yorkers every year than any other kind of extreme weather event. In Arizona, the extreme heat is being blamed for dozens of deaths. The U.S. president introduced new safety measures for workers. Experts say extreme heat is already costing America $100 billion a year and hits our most vulnerable the hardest. Climate scientists say this will be the norm unless people move to drastically cut fossil fuels. We have to mitigate climate, which means we have to reduce our emissions. It's the number one best thing we can do. Along with the heat, this summer in Canada has been marked with unprecedented wildfires, cities drowning in smoke, and now severe drought is a reality in BC. The level of drought that we're seeing here in British Columbia today is really quite unprecedented. And Renee, unprecedented really is a word to describe what is going on right now. And there is another factor at play here, Juanita. Scientists predicted this would be a hotter year than usual, and that's because of El Nino. It's a cyclical warming of the Pacific Ocean that could raise global temperatures. It's back after three years and is expected to impact the weather until at least early next year. Thanks for this tonight, Renee.